So Van here wants me to explain uh, product swell, otherwise known as uh, processing gain in refining. And to quickly get you up to speed on what I'm talking about, when you refine a 42 gallon barrel of oil in the United States, you get 45 gallons of product out of that barrel of finished products. It's called processing gain. And you get nearly, not quite six and a half percent more product um, in your output than in your inputs. Refinery outputs are larger than their inputs because there's an, a well over 6% gain, um, a volumetric gain because the products that are uh, you're putting out, the, the finished products, have a lower specific gravity than your inputs, than the products you know, you're know you starting with. So uh, a simple way to say it, uh, you're taking something much thicker and you're making it much thinner and the products that you're, you're making out of it are much thinner, right? So you do get a volumetric gain. Um, I had a debate with a person about this the other night. They said, that's impossible. No, you can absolutely get a volumetric gain. What you can't gain is mass, right? So you, you can't get more mass, but you can get more volume by changing the specific gravity um, of the products. And if you're not familiar with specific gravity, it's basically, you know, relative density or, or density, right? And the specific gravity or relative density is measured against water at like 40 degrees. So if oil has a specific gravity of, you know, 0.87, um, basically it has, what, 87% of the density of water. And that's why it's lighter than water. That's why it floats on top, right? Now, the specific gravity of fuels like diesel and gasoline can vary, but a good average number for diesel would be like 0.83, and a good average for, for gasoline would be, you know, probably 0.74, somewhere in there. So if you were to have water, oil, diesel, and gasoline all in a glass of water, or all in a glass, <laughs> the water would be on bottom, and then the oil would be on top of the water, the diesel would be on top of the, the oil, and the gasoline would be on top of the diesel. I feel like I have way over explained this, but that's the answer. I kind of got lost there. Thanks.